How can we make the perfect week three DFS lineup without knowing who we're going to pick? We're about to do that today in our daily fantasy unboxing segment for week three. I'm Matt Harmon. I've been given a blind resume for a group of quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends. Simply based on a blind resume of facts, I'm going to unbox a daily fantasy lineup for week three. First up, our quarterback group, and I've got quarterback box one, two, and three, the big one. In quarterback box number one, we have a player worth $33 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy. This player scored over 24 fantasy points in week two. They have thrown for 250 yards in 24 games since 2017. The opponent forced four plus turnovers in three games last year. So you have a high flying quarterback, going against an opportunistic defense. That's something to consider here. Now, quarterback box number two, our most expensive player at $36 in Yahoo Fantasy. They threw for over 300 yards in week two, and they've thrown two plus touchdowns in one quarter five times last season, and their opponent collected 38 total sacks last season, so I can see why this player is so expensive. QB number three, $23 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy, has thrown for 100 plus yards in one quarter 22 times since the 2017 season, and his opponent allowed over 4,000 passing yards to QBs in 2018. That sounds like a good matchup, but overall, I think I'm gonna go with the $33 quarterback. All right, my quarterback pick is, ah, it's the goat. Tom Brady. The Patriots, they're 22 point favorites over the damn Jets in week two. This is why the unboxing method is perfect. Like based on a blind resume, I didn't need to do any research. I still got the uh, one of the best quarterbacks at only $33, give me a break. All right, running back group number one. I've got running back box three, two, one. Running back number one is $36 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy and is averaging almost 19 fantasy points per game this season. That's a decent amount. This player has gained 815 yards after the catch since last season, and his opponent was a top five worst defense against the run last year. Running back number two here is $18 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy, has touched the rock 32 times this season, has gone over 30 yards receiving three times in his career, eh, that's kind of whatever, and his opponent scored zero defensive touchdowns in 2018, so not a good opportunistic defense. Running back number three. $19 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy has scored 149 fantasy points in 2018, has rushed for 10 plus yards on 51 of his 285 carries since 2017. That's a pretty nice, and this is an explosive player we're looking at here. Their opponent was a top 10 defense against the run in 2018, but bottom 10 through two weeks in 2019. I'm not gonna pick the expensive running back here. I think I'm gonna go over here with my number three running back at $19. So let's have a look. All right, first running back pick is, yes, the indestructible man, Matt Breida. A San Francisco 49ers starting running back. Overall, really happy with this pick. You gotta consider that the 49ers are at home. They're welcoming a Pittsburgh Steelers team that's starting Mason Rudolph. And you're getting the starting running back on a team that's a home favorite. That is always a good pick in Yahoo DFS, especially at just $19. All right, let's move on to the second group of running backs here. I have running backs two, Three, one. Running back number one ha is $20 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy and scored 20 fantasy points in week two. They've rushed for 70 plus yards and a half four times since 2017, and their opponent forced two plus turnovers in eight games last season. Mildly interesting resume here. Running back number two is $33 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy, has over 30 total fantasy points this season. Uh, they've touched the ball 20 plus times in a game, 16 times since 2017, and their opponent has allowed, wait for it, 2,735 rushing yards since last year. This is a workhorse back with a good matchup, which is why you've got the high price here in the middle. Running back number three is $19 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy, has touched the rock 29 times this season. They've rushed for 17 rushing touchdowns in the red zone since the 2017 season, and their opponent 
and they're pretty weak in that area because they've allowed 25 rushing touchdowns in the red zone since 2017. This is a tough choice, but not between all three. Choice number one, pretty bad. I think I'm gonna go expensive here and pick running back number two at $33, paying up here. All right, my second running back pick is, oh, hell yeah, what's up? Ezekiel Elliott at $33, I love it. Look, has Zeke had his big bust out game so far this year? No, coming off that holdout, of course, we haven't seen him in full form just yet, but I think this is the week to do it. Remember, he's playing the damn Dolphins. The Dolphins are the worst NFL team perhaps of all time. I love having Brady against the Jets, Zeke against the Dolphins as the two anchors for my week three fit daily fantasy lineup. Now it's time to pick my wide receivers. I've got wide receiver three, one, two. My first wide receiver is $30 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy. They have eight catches in both games this season and they're averaging over 12 targets a game this year. That is very solid. Their opponent is bottom 10 in yards per game allowed as well. So very solid pick here, $30. Uh, this wide receiver has scored each of the last two weeks. They have a pass rating of 155.8 in week two when targeted by their quarterback and their their, their damn opponent has given up four freaking touchdowns in both games this year. Now, number three, $16 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy. They've scored in both games so far this year and their defense is allowing 231.5 passing yards per game. That's what their opponent is allowing. So pretty solid there. Don't think I can afford the $30 guy here. I think I'm gonna go box number two at $22. Player scored two straight weeks, got a good pass rating when targeted, and they're apparently going against a disgusting defense. So let's find out who it is. All right, my wide receiver pick. This rocks. Chris Godwin is a, is a damn star, uh, number one. Uh, number two, he's easily the best player in the Bucks offense right now. $22, give me a break. Let's go for my second wide receiver pick. I've got wide receiver two, three, and one. Wide receiver number one is $33 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy. They have double digit receptions in both games this year, and their opponent allowed 400 passing yards in week one. Okay, my $25 wide receiver here in box number two. Three touchdowns so far this season, averaging 12 targets per game. That's a pretty good, pretty good bit of volume right there. But bad news, the defense that they're facing has allowed just one passing touchdown all year. At $18 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy, they're averaging 25 fantasy points a game so far, and they're averaging double digit targets a game too. Um, their opponent, allowed 15 points per game to wide receivers so far this year. So this is kind of pretty clear to me. Again, remember, I didn't save necessarily too much at my last wide receiver. I went expensive at run one running back and quarterback. So I'm gonna save, go with the $18 pick here, uh, and we will see who it is. All right, my pick here. Ah, well, it is your current wide receiver one overall in fantasy, John Ross. Yeah, I'm as shocked as any of you that he's playing as well as he is. He's run more routes than anyone else on the Bengals. And even in a tough matchup here against the Bills, I still think you might see John Ross escape with some big plays. And look, I went with a high pick in Chris Godwin in my other wide receiver spot, so I feel pretty comfortable taking the risk here with John Ross to bring some upside into my lineup. All right, final pick here with the tight end position. We've got box three, two, and one. Tight end box number one. I have a tight end worth $21 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy. They have over 100 yards in both of their two games to start this season, and they've caught 16 of 17 targets through two weeks. The defense that they're facing also, by the way, has allowed 262.5 passing yards per game. Tight end box number two, $14, a nice punt play in Yahoo Daily Fantasy. They are averaging double digit fantasy points per game. They've caught 85% of their targets and their opponent has allowed four passing touchdowns 
this season. $19 in Yahoo Daily Fantasy is tight end number three. Uh, they have one week of 20 plus fantasy points, one week under five fantasy points, and the defense that they're facing has allowed three passing touchdowns in both games this season. I am going to unbox Mark Andrews here. That's my guess, that's my guess, is this is Mark Andrews and I'm gonna unbox him as my tight end pick here. Let's see, yep, Mark Andrews. Ravens tight end, Mark Andrews. He's having a breakout season. Lamar Jackson's having a breakout season. They're facing the Chiefs this week in the game with the highest projected point total on the board. Smash pick, only $21, give me a break. I'm taking that every single day of the week, especially on Sundays, which is when you wanna play Daily Fantasy on Yahoo, of course. So there you have it. That is my week three unboxed daily fantasy lineup based on just a blind resume here. So here's my lineup. Tom Brady at $33, Ezekiel Elliott at also $33, Matt Breida at 19 bucks, Chris Godwin at $22, John Ross at $18, and Mark Andrews at a healthy $21. I really like the way this sets up for me. This is the base of my lineup. I will fill in the rest along the way. If you think that I could have done better, made some other picks, let us know. Reply in the comments. Tell me what you think. Good luck to all of you in week three and make sure you play on yahoo.com slash daily fantasy. Join the contests that we have for you. Win money. Don't you want to win money? Don't won't that make you feel good about yourselves? Uh, it's going to make me feel good about myself. So let's get into it. Week three. Good luck.